Property Commissioner. <clears throat> when residents see something outrageous that doesn't fit the picture, they get upset. They know something is wrong, but they don't know what. This is the case with Lansford Landing Project. <clears throat> While some longtime residents have been dismissed as being sentimental and emotional, we are here today to tell you what's wrong with Langford Landing Project. We have the before picture, like Jenny has in 2014. It shows thick vegetation, hardwood, mangroves. The next picture, but other ways, <laughs> I don't think I'm the next picture, but okay, what you have here is already, you have it cleared, the developer is moving ahead, he's going to town. But when you look back at Jenny's photo, when you go along the shoreline where the mangroves are at, they're not there. There's no trees, it's just barren, barren land. So, when the developer, what the developer has done is effectively change the contour of the land for con constructing expediency. Policy 91A.9 states clearing of native vegetation on the subdivision lot prior to the issuance of a building permit for construction of single family lots shall be limited to the necess what is necessary for installation of roads, utilities, and drainage. And that's the community road. <coughs> For required drainage and infrastructure improvements, individual lots shall not be cleared of nativized vegetation until a building permit is issued. Looking at these next photo, three photos, you'll see that these photos show miles of field. If there was an enforcement of the content, this quantity of field would not be alive. The next five photos that, that I'm going to show you is the shows water and wind erosion. This is along the shore. You can see how they bulldoze the, the sand down there. They covered up the natural contour of the land. Where, where, are the, where are the silk fences that they were supposed to put in? That's required by law. Your county staff says that they're there. They're not there. For the comp plan, contractors are limited to what they can do on the shoreline protection zone. They are required to ensure no adverse impact to the estuary estuary and mangroves. Also, erosion controls and devices shall be installed and maintained throughout the duration of the construction activity. It's not done. EW consultant said that at the mangroves said they will be protected in place. They weren't. Thank you. <laughs> 